Canadian scientist John Hutchison is the discoverer of what is now known as the Hutchison effect. I met with him in the year 2001 to learn about his work and to show him the galaxy clock and gravity beyond light speed theory. His work demonstrated the principle perfectly. He was the first scientist to change the frequency of mass from a low 7 to 8 hertz wave state to a higher frequency. He did this in an amazing experiment where he bombarded a 75 pound cannonball with high frequency waves produced by Tesla coils, radio waves and Van de Graaff waves. As the 75 pound ball absorbed the high frequency magnetic waves, its mass became lighter and so light that it actually started to levitate. If we can change the frequency of mass into a high frequency wave state, it can eventually turn into a form so light that the energy required for propulsion for a spacecraft would reduce or become more efficient and allow us to experience less and less inertia, therefore experience less g-force in spaceflight. If mass could become so light that it became as light as a photon, mass or spacecraft could attain the speed of light with very little energy in the form of actual propulsion. If mass or spacecraft could transform into such a high frequency wave state that it went far beyond the frequency of waves in the visible light spectrum, mass or spacecraft could become invisible. Higher yet, mass or spacecraft could break the speed of light. Now it was very clear to me how the UFOs were traveling beyond light speed. They were pulsing their spacecraft with such high frequency waves of energy that the spacecraft reduced its mass to the point that it became so light, lighter than a photon, and when mass becomes that light, it takes so little energy for it to move at the speed of light and beyond. The answer to how we could propel ourselves to the stars was being transmitted to us in the form of a gravity beyond light speed energy wave, the very signature to how a spacecraft could break the speed of light and visit us from outside our own solar system and possibly from one of our nearest stars.